What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Will for our music. Did you get your tickets? Did you get your tickets? I got your tickets. I got a ticket for me to the Ron Paul Rally. Ron Paul Rally. Revolution. 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 Coming for us. Going to the Ron Paul Rally at the Tampa Sun Dome. Can't wait to see you guys there. I'm pumped up. My YouTube friends, I'm going to the Paul Fest. You got your rides. Anybody who needs a ride, I'm leaving from Maryland's Eastern Shore. I've got nobody going with me. So I could probably take two of you. I'm planning on I'm, I'm planning on camping. At first I saw there was camping, which I don't see anywhere on the thing. So, oh. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm gonna figure that out here soon. But I'm going no matter what. If I gotta go drive up and sleep in my Jeep, I will. I, I could care less. Uh, I'm going. So I've got some friends around Florida. I can go get a shower. I'm not gonna do much sleeping anyway. I'm planning on having a hell of a good time at the Paul Festival and then going to see me some Ron Paul and uh, get down, have a good time. This has been a, a really long year. And uh, we're gonna have ourselves a miracle. We're gonna show, we're gonna show the world who we are, and, and that uh, we're not stupid. And uh, you know, that may mean something to you that's different than me. You know, that may not mean that Dr. Paul is going to get the nomination. You know, but in my head, Dr. Paul is going to be my president. You know, he's gonna, I'm gonna be listening to him, taking my cues from him. As these other scumbags lead us into collapse, you know, Mitt, Mittens, Romney, or the other uh, Goldman Sachs, you know, flunky, basically, uh, I'm gonna be sitting here listening to Dr. Paul and learning for the future, for when, the, you know, the sheep will have either been weeded out after they call the herd, or we dance to victory. Ba -ba 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 Ron Paul! Victory, and that means that me, you, and everybody needs to be in Tampa. Go, go. I don't care if you're in Quebec, Kuwait, go. You need to go. California, Nebraska. We need all 50 states represented down there. We need the world. Fly from Tokyo. Say, my government is lying about Fukushima, and I love Ron Paul. Come on, China, say come on down, let's go. Chinese for Ron Paul. Oh, you know we love you over there. Poland guys, come on over. We love the Polish. Polish for Ron Paul. Ron Paul, that's who we're for. And, that's, and, and you know what? His philosophy will live on because he's he's taught so many people through his speeches and uh, his his career. By uh, you know people call him a failed. What has he ever put through? He never compromised. You know he never compromised. Sometimes you don't get your bill through. That's just how it is. Sometimes people don't see things the way, especially when the money's getting handed out. And it's a, it's a gravy train. Who's going to vote against a gravy train? You know? Would you? If it might help your people? If somebody's just going to print some money up and let you borrow it? And you can have all sorts of ridiculous projects? And some people uh, out there need to understand that we need to change the system. But until it's changed, that's how it's going to work. Uh oh people are going to be bought off and a change in the system means of going back to local communities and, and stuff like Paul Fest all of us need to go and be with each other and talk about what what change needs to be and figure out how to move forward as a group as a philosophy as a lifestyle you know a lot of people take this as a lifestyle uh, I see freedom as just life I should be free to do as I please as long as I don't hurt you. As long as I don't hurt your property or something you worked hard. I should be able to enjoy the fruits of my labor. There shouldn't be somebody in the middle of my money and you manipulating money. They shouldn't be able to just take our money. Um, 
I don't, I don't mind paying some taxes, but they shouldn't be able to just take it from us. We should have to pay it. You know, it should be a bill. It should be for something. You know, tax for the road. Something like that. So, tax for the new something. But no, none of this government money spent on shopping centers, shit that's uh, out there in the public domain, we should not be paying for. All sorts of stuff that, that our governments, local governments allow because of corruption in the local governments and, and cronyism. They say, you know, capitalism, cronyism. No, the whole world is run on cronyism. And until you take the incentives that, that do that, is what we really need to do is stop putting drug dealers and, and drug addicts in jail and start putting these people who've stolen millions of dollars and hooked their friends up for contracts that, don't, that, that they know aren't going to pan out when they get the contract out. It's time. You think that shit won't be done anymore. It'll be the end of the cronyism. We start putting some white collar people in jail, not just one fall guy like they did for WorldCom and uh, you know all the other Enron scandals out there. No, no, it's time to really pull the hammer on these people. Say, uh, you know, big jail time. You stole millions of dollars your company did, jail time. It's time to convict them. They just let that chick go under the table because nobody's looking into it. The bottom line is, it's time time that people have a, a clean slate. You know, get rid of this cainism that we have in our system that we can just run these debt and, and continuous debt and just mount it up. It's time to pay off our damn bill. That's what I loved about Dr. Paul. He, he's got money in the bank still. He didn't let his campaign, he, he didn't let his campaign get into the red. You know, he had a different strategy. But much love to you guys. I will see you at Paul Fest. Be there for the rally.